Even before the Brezza was launched, it became a threat to other SUVs. People started comparing it with its competitors and other rivals. And now when it's finally launched, it has become a hit with the masses. It might be a sub 4 meter compact SUV, but people are very curious to know where it stands in front of its bigger and fully grown rival, the Hyundai Creta. Both these vehicles are best sellers, but they look absolutely different, they fall under different price segments and of course have different engine options as well. But this video is on public demand. So which of the two earns more credit? Well, for that, stay tuned with us. An SUV is supposed to be big. However, in this regard, the Brezza falls short. But it's made for a purpose to benefit from tax exemptions that come attached with a sub 4 meter vehicle. It is 275mm shorter than the Creta, but Maruti designers deserve a pat on their backs for making the Brezza look so good. The sub 4 meter SUV, or so to say the hashback on steroids, certainly looks smart and can turn heads on the road. It is neatly built and you also get a dual color theme on the top end version. The floating C pillars, steeply raked windscreen, sleek projector headlamps with DRLs make it quite a looker. The front is a bit aggressive and the alloy wheels look nice. At 198mm, it stands higher up from the ground as compared to the Creta. On the other hand, the Creta is a pleasant looking SUV. The front face looks stronger with the massive front bumper design, white bonnet, pull back projector headlamps, blacked out air dam and innovative vertical fog dams with black surrounds. Moving to the side, the fusion of the rising belt line from the front wing with the sloping roof line along with the 17-inch diamond-shaped alloy wheels impress us a lot. The tailgate is quite typical but the angular tail lamps, a dash of chrome and spoiler do add a touch of sportiness. Both the Sudo SUVs have ample room on the inside. The Brezza's all-black interiors look nice but the quality of plastics is not up to the mark. The compact SUV gets driver side airbag as standard with the lower models giving the option of dual airbags. However, the Creta offers dual airbags as standard across all the versions. The Creta's greatest strength is the quality of the interiors. The car does look premium. The Creta boasts of a dual color theme which gives it an airy feel on the inside. Also, you sit higher and hence you get better visibility. Both the Brezza and the Creta might fall under different price segments, but they both have a long feature list. Both the cars share features like ABS, power steering, power windows, central locking, keyless entry, infotainment systems, Bluetooth connectivity, electric outside mirrors, fog lamps, multifunctional steering and so on. What is missing in the Creta are two things, voice commands and of course a cruise control. The Brezza is cheaper than the Creta and still offers better features. What we find missing in the Vitara Brezza in comparison are the rear AC vents. Both the cars are 5 seaters, technically 4 adults and 1 kid. That said, the Creta is slightly more spacious and also has a bigger boot. At 400 litres, it is substantially bigger than that of the Brezza. The Brezza, however, offers more practicality with the rear seat configuration. In terms of engines, the Creta gives you three engine options. A 1.6 petrol, a 1.4 diesel and a bigger 1.6 diesel. The Brezza only comes with the diesel option and hence for this comparison, we will only stick to diesel engines. The Creta's 1.4 litre diesel delivers 90 PS of power, same as the Brezza. However, it produces more torque. The 1.4 Creta also comes with a 6-speed manual gearbox as compared to 5-speed for the Brezza. The Creta's bigger engine option is the 1.6 litre that produces 128 PS of power. This engine has the option of a 6-speed manual and a 6-speed automatic, something missing in the Brezza. We might call the Brezza the car for urban people, but the engine is a bit of a letdown for city usage. It suffers from turbo lag which means you have to downshift quite a lot and you have to make sure the engine is spinning in the torque band if you want to overtake. However, it performs very well on open roads and also offers segment best fuel economy of 24.3 kmpl. The Creta's engines are not so efficient. 
the 1.4 offers 21.38 kmpl whereas the 1.6 offers 19.67 kmpl these figures are the certified figures as per arai the creta diesels on the other hand turn out to be better in terms of overall driving the 1.6 will certainly burn rubber and leaves the Brezza behind when it comes to acceleration and top speed. NVH levels, that is the noise, vibration and harshness levels, are better as compared to the Maruti and the same can be said about the slick shifting 6-speed gearbox. In terms of comfort, let's talk about the Maruti first. The Brezza suspension is set up towards the firmer side, which means low speed ride can be jerky. However, as speeds increase, the Brezza becomes more comfortable. Ditto for the steering. It isn't very light for city usage, but does the job very well across various speeds. The Creta on the other hand impresses you with its light steering and well damped suspension. Road noise is well controlled and all these factors combined together make it a better car when it comes to passenger comfort. High speed stability of the Creta is slightly better as well. This is due to wider tyres and a longer wheelbase. At 9.7 lakh rupees Exurum Delhi, the Vitara Brezza's top-end ZDI Plus version is cheaper than the base 1.4 Creta. It clearly shows that the Brezza is better value for money, giving you more features and better fuel economy at a lower price point. The fully loaded Creta will set you back at 14.4 lakh rupees Exurum Delhi, approximately 4.7 lakh rupees more than the top-end Brezza. Yes, the Creta is a superior product with a richer feel, more engine options and better performance. But it all comes to you at a price. In the end, if your budget is limited and you can live with the long waiting period, the Brezza is an excellent choice. But if you have the money to spend, the Creta will end up being your perfect urban SUV. To watch more such videos from the Indian automotive industry, do not forget to subscribe to the Car Deco YouTube channel.